doing? Hey, what's up, my people? How you doing? My name is Dalton, and this is my channel, Dalton My World. Now, I'm coming at you because recently, if you don't know, we have a situation at hand, okay? And I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to let you know straight up. This is not the ending of this situation and things such as this. This is just the tip of the iceberg, just the beginning of it, okay? I did a live stream, but for some reason my phone messed up. I still may post it so y'all can see it. Just, just use it as like a podcast. Just listen to it, okay? Now, I ask you to subscribe, share this. I look for your comments, and without a doubt, all right, I actually give it a thumbs up. All right, now, here's the deal. Illegal immigrants, many of them, they are coming over the border, and many of them that are already here, not all of them are bad, but a lot of them are creating illegal groups with ringleaders, creating crime, okay? And you've seen it in New York and other sanctuary states or cities, okay? You've seen it, okay? You're going to see a lot more of it, okay? This is not a coincidence. And when the, the DA, okay, first of all, you had a group of uh, illegal immigrants beating down two American citizens who also were police officers, okay? And the DA in New York let them go without even charging them a fee, okay? You let them go. Now, you and I know, as a black man and, and women in America, if it was us and we were beating down these police officers, there would be so many cop cars all over the place. There would be white supremacists trying to jump in and say they're helping the police officers while putting black people in chokeholds, there would be <laughs> the mug shops of Afro-American men and women with black eyes, teeth missing, hair all messed up, okay? And you know they would throw the book at us. Right now, I know this one brother, and he's not with his wife. Because here in Pittsburgh, the police stopped him, searched his car, and found this little tube of hemp oil lotion that you, that you could buy on YouTube. So be careful when you're buying that stuff. You buy on YouTube anywhere, and you could just rub on your back. It's supposed to take, care, take out the pain. Well, they gave him eight years for that. He threw the book at him. Black man. Okay? But these illegal immigrants were allowed to leave. Not having to post any bomb whatsoever. He was able, that DA in New York was able to do that. People saying they were upset, but he still has a position. And to me, he just played his cards. He knows that there's a bigger conspiracy going on. He understands that. He just played his cards through some. He was just doing what he's told to do. Okay, you think that they powers, bigger powers to be, don't have plans for all these illegal immigrants coming into the United States? Are you serious? Come on. 
they already made a lot of them temporary U.S. citizens. They're working on giving them permission to work. I'm not against giving them permission to work, okay? But what I'm telling you is there's a bigger plan. I don't know what it is, but it is. And he was just playing. He knows. He was just playing his cards, okay? Hell, political parties can see these people as future voters, future Democrats, future Republicans, so they can regain and stay in power, you know? There's a chess game that's definitely being played here, okay? And they don't care about how it's affecting the homeless. They don't care how it's affecting lower income, like myself. They don't care how it's affecting middle income. As long as it's not affecting the rich and the super rich and these corporations, they're not worried about it. Okay? Because, hey, they're, they're, they are potential cheap new labor. And I have nothing against them working. I work for men, but what I do have against is when you being the law and you punish um, the people in your country that are citizens of your country more violently, more thoroughly throwing the book at them for even the smallest little things. But people who are not from our country, you're going to pat them on the back and let them go. There's something wrong, okay? And you know it, and I know it, okay? Now, why do the Democrats want this bipartisan bill that's supposed to, you know, hold up and control the flow of immigrants, illegal immigrants at the border? Because it gives them a chance to cover up one of the biggest mistakes they did by not having another law in place and eliminating Title 42 that Trump put up, okay? And if they can get that bipartisan bill met, they can cover that up just in time for Biden to run for president. Okay, that is, and Trump sees the big picture. I'm not a Republican, not a Democrat. I'm just saying how I, how I see it. Trump sees a big picture. Trump is telling the ultra conservatives not to pass that bill. He does not want the Democrats and Biden to be let off the hook so easily for the damage they are continually doing to us in the United States and to the legal immigrants. Okay? They had two years. The uh, Democrats had two years. They owned the White House. They owned the Senate. They had all the power. They could have refurbished tons of buildings all over the United States, putting Americans back to work in preparation for the surge. So what's going on now would not be going on. But they didn't do it. Nor did they give you and I stimulus checks when they had all the power in the world to do it, to help us. I'm not talking about unemployment. I'm talking about stimulus checks, which has been proven to help the economy for Republicans and Democrats. They didn't do it. But they did give themselves raises of our taxpayer money. So I don't want to get off offline here, but what I'm telling you is what you're seeing in New York and all over the United States is only the tip of an the iceberg. They want to make you think 
that they got it all under control. Okay, and it's not going to happen again. No, this is the beginning of something, not the end. And on one last note, I'm going to tell you something that's going to scare you to your bones. They want you to stay focused on uh, Latin Americans, evil, illegal immigrants or Latin Americans, but there are, are other countries as well that's coming over. And the biggest, new, newest group that's growing, that's coming across our borders, not just Texas, is Chinese, people from China. So there's one word you want to look up in and online, okay? Give you this final word, sleeper cell. Familiar, familiarize yourself with those two words, sleeper cell. Understand exactly what they mean and you're going to have a good idea of what you need to worry about right now and in the future. All right. And I should wrap you up later. I did put, like I said, I posted another one, but it didn't come out right. But I might just go ahead and let it run anyway. All right. Peace out, y'all.